Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve lead code problem 1944 number of visible people in a queue. Uh, before we go through the description and the examples, I just want to mention that my channel focuses on helping people who are preparing for coding interviews as well as Java interviews. Uh, this channel has a lot of solved examples explained in details with Java code and those are like hand-picked pro uh, hand problems asked by many big tech companies like Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft and many other big companies. Uh, those problems include variety of like different varieties such as dynamic programming, uh, binary search, binary tree related problems, linked list related interview questions, string related interview questions as well as you know graph related questions, BFS, DFS so all those varieties are covered so please subscribe to the channel and keep watching this video and uh, uh, so now we can go through the uh, description of this problem and we will look at the examples and how we can solve this problem this is one of the hard problems on lead code so there are n people standing in a queue and they are numbered from 0 to n minus 1 in left to right order you are given an array heights of distinct integers where heights of i represent height of the ith person. So a person can see another person to their right in the queue if everybody in between is shorter than both of them. More formally, the ith person can see the jth person if i is less than j and mean of heights of i, comma heights of j is less than max of heights of i plus 1 till j minus 1 right so what that means basically is um, so for example this person right this guy can see all people between this guy uh, and this guy right because they are all like a uh, smaller right smaller but this guy is obscured but uh, that's what they are saying basically for example this guy can see if if you compare this guy and this guy right two guys then he can see this middle also right because he is smaller than this one right so that's what they mean basically by that statement so return array answer of length n where answer i is number of people the ith person can see to the right side in the queue right so let's take this example over here uh, and we can discuss you know like how we are going to solve this problem so basically uh, what the problem is saying is uh, uh, let's you can just imagine like a real life scenario right you are standing in a line and uh, if let's say uh, there are a couple of people between you and there is one very tall person right so you can see uh, other people which are between you and that tall person right so uh, like that basically right so let's take this example so it will be more clear actually so let's say we are look, this guy is looking on the right side right so he can see this person right this person he can see he can see this person also and he can see this person so three people he can see he cannot see this person because he is obscure obscured by this person right and this person also he cannot see because he is obscured by this person this is taller so he cannot see this so we have we have to put three here right because three people he can see on the right side correct so similarly if you take into like if you take this guy he can see on the right side uh, only one person he can see right this person he can see this person right because other persons he gets obscured because of this person right and he is shorter so he cannot see other pe people now if you look at this person if he is looking on the right side he will see this person right one he will see this person two he this person will get obscured right so two persons he will see right so we have to put two here so that is the basic idea so uh, this person can only see one person and this last person can only see uh, he cannot see anything right because right side it's nobody is there so you will put we will put zero there basically right so uh, that is what the problem is saying that we have to find out for each person in the array basically how many people he will be able to see on his right side so that is what the problem is so let's look into how uh, we can solve this problem let me back yeah so we can use like monotonically uh, increasing stack increasing in the sense is we are looking from top to bottom in the stack right so it becomes like a monotonically increasing so how this uh, monotonically increasing stack can help us solving this problem so let's go with this example and first try to understand this 
so the implementation become very easy after that so let's say if first person let's take this first person so we will just put that into the stack right 10 so our basic idea is if you are looking stack from top to bottom it should be always in the increasing order right so now um, we will go and we will uh, take 6 right 6 is the next person so we will add it 6 into the stack so once we add 6 now this one is monotonically increasing right from top to bottom so we are fine so in that case we will see who is the immediate next of 6 right 10 is immediate next so that guy can see 6 right so we will put 1 there so we will put 1 for 10 right okay now after that 8 will come right so we will just put 8 here into the stack and now we will start looking it now this is not monotonically increasing because 6 is smaller than 8 right so in that case we have to remove 6 from the stack so we will remove 6 out of the stack and we have to at the same time increment 1 for 6 because 6 is able to see 8 right because he is immediate so we will put 1 for 6 here and after 6 is gone 10 can also like see 8 right in that case so we have to increment 1 for 10 actually right so 10 will become 2 now right because 10 can see 2 as you can see here also right he can see these both, both these things he can see so we will put 2 here now we are done with 8 right so now we will go and we will put 5 right after 8 5 comes so now the stack is monotonically increasing right because 6 is not there now so 5 8 and 10 is there basically right so it is monotonically increasing so we are good we don't have to worry uh, we have to increment 8 by 1 right because 8 is immediate next to 5 so he can see 5 basically right so we will increment 8 by 1 so 8 will be 1 now now after 5 is done we will put 11 here right so now we are putting 11 here now as you can see after we put 11 if you see, see from top to bottom now the stack is not monotonically incre uh, increasing right because these elements are smaller than 11 so we have to take out those elements from the stack basically and when we are taking out we have to also increment their count also right so 5 will go out we will increment count for 5 so 5 becomes 1 8 will go out of the stack we will increment count for 8 so now 1 so 1 to 2 it will become right so it will become 2 and 10 we will remove 10 also because 10 is smaller than 11 and count for 10 will increment by 1 so now count will become 3 right so this is what happens after we put 11 now only 11 will be there in into the stack right and um, so if you look until this point right i am just drawing just for a second so we are at this point right so as you can see now this guy he can see three correct so this guy can see this guy can see one so it is also correct right this guy can see these two basically so this is also correct two and this guy five can see one so this guy can see one right so he can see one uh, five can see one right so so this is how the solution works actually so now we have already processed 11 now we have to go forward and we will process 9 so we will add 9 into the stack once we put 9 into the stack then the stack is monotonically increasing if you look at from top to bottom right top to bottom it is increasing so we have to just update 11 and we have to increment 11 by 1 so we will put 1 here for 11 and after that 9 uh, means he once we take out 9 basically there are no uh, on the right side right for the 9 this guy last guy so we have to put 0 there basically so if you look at the output so same output we are getting first 3 then 1 then 2 then 1 then 1 right 3 1 then 2 then 1 then 1 then 0 right so this is how the monotonically increasing stack will help us basically to solve this problem right so let's uh, 
you know look at the implementation so when we are like removing this for example when we added 11 right we removed 5 then we removed 8 then we removed 10 so we always keep increasing right and the logic behind that is when we removed 5 is immediate so it will be increased by 1 right once 5 is gone then 8 can see 11 so we have to keep incrementing that also for that 11 right and 10 can also see 11 so we have to keep incrementing for that basically so that is what the logic is basically right so let's look at the uh, implementation uh, for this problem so we are just first creating uh, array result which is the integer array we have to return that right at the end so after that we will just create a stack actually here right and stack will it will hold array right and array will hold integer height comma index right so height of the person and then the index of the person it will hold and after that we are going to you know loop through all the heights that's given to us here so what first we will read height of i which is height we will read and for, uh, we will first do a while loop right so while we are seeing something on the stack which is less than the current height right we have to pop it out of the stack so that's what we are popping out and we are incrementing the value for that popped out elements index right so this will give us the index and we will increment that value of that index here right because previously shorter can see taller person right so previously shorter people can see the taller person for example in this case of 11 right this shorter person can see the taller person he can see the taller person he can see the taller person this one we already have removed right so we are not talking about this but this other people can see the taller person right so that's why we have to pop out all the uh, all the people who are like uh, basically shorter right means who are less than height this height of current person and after that is done if stack is not empty we have to make sure that the immediate next we are incrementing right previous taller can see the means previous person can see the next person correct so whenever we are there always previous person can see next person right so for ex for example this is this is uh, uh, if we are talking about this like uh, um, uh, so previous can see next person right so whenever like if you are we are uh, looking at this person then we have to increment count for this person right because he can always see this person on the right side so that's what we are doing basically here and then after that is done we will push the current height and its index onto the stack right current height and index for example in this case of 11 we will put 11 and its index here right so when we pull when we uh, pop out this element from stack we get the index basically right so that's what uh, so we have to get the index here like this we are getting right and we are incrementing the indexes value here right so we can go to result array and with the index and we can increment the value for that index right here also when we are picking the stack we are getting the index of that uh, uh, element right of that high a person and then we are going into the result array and then we are incrementing its value here right so that is what the logic is basically uh, to solve number of visible people in a queue problem by using uh, monotonically increasing stack so let's go through the example that is given to us let's just make sure this works so this should give us um, right so three two three one two one one zero right so which are correct let's just run all the examples that's given to us so the second example also is correct four one 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 zero so uh, we are confident about our solution we can submit this one so our solution got accepted by lead code so um, this is the way you can solve the number of visible people in a queue problem right and uh, there is a similar problem like this that you instead of people you will be given buildings right and you are you have to find out uh, if you are standing on the top of a building how many uh, buildings you can see on the right side right so that kind of question also comes so that's a uh, it's similar logic you know same you can use like a uh, monotonically increasing order of the stack to solve that problem also so any these kind of problems where you have to find out like on your right side how many 
uh, something you can see you can solve these kind of problems using monotonically increasing stack so this one we are calling monotonically increasing because we are seeing from the top to bottom direction right top to bottom if you are seeing if you are talking from bottom to top direction then the same uh, terminology becomes monotonically decreasing right so it depends on which direction you are looking right so um, so that is the way you can solve this problem if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel now my channel focuses on helping people who are preparing for coding interviews as well as java phone interviews or in person interviews and it has a, if you haven't already checked my playlist for lead code and lead code solutions please check it now it has over 100 solved problems uh, asked by many big companies like amazon apple google facebook uh, microsoft and many others and it consists of a uh, variety of problems like dynamic programming uh, linked list related problems uh, string related interview questions uh, breadth first search depth first search like bfs dfs right graph related problem tree related problems are there so please go through it it will definitely help you uh, also if you like this video please hit like and subscribe it uh, your subscription is really important to us because that is the way the video can reach to more people they can also uh, watch these videos while they are preparing for their interviews and get helped by the watching the videos uh, thanks for watching the video